Hey guys, it's Celine. It's Monday the 16th of January. Ah, look at what I found in a thrift store. So maybe there's somebody out there who knows what this is, actually. Ah, uh, this back of this... It, it was in a box of buttons, okay? In a thrift store in a different part of the country that I visited on a very rainy last Saturday. It was bloody awful. It pelted with rain all day long and we were on a client run husband and I so I had about an hour or so that I needed to spend doing something else but look at the rain and I went to this thrift store that I hadn't visited before I got myself a nice t-shirt with flowers on that I'll be enjoying wearing in uh, the summer I have no doubt I bought a couple of other things like two handsome looking old fashioned forks, you know, dinner forks, that kind of thing, silver with curly bits decorated. Um, a couple of buttons, a couple of pot holders, you know, things like that. Total of five and a half euros. So I was doing really good at that time. I also found this. So this is my interesting looking magical bit, really. It has this, I don't, Oh, there you go. That Now, this is focusing, actually. You can see that there's actual glitter, but this is pottery of some sort. I don't know about those bits. That's probably just bits of glue. And this is the front. Those are Greek letters. And it says, as I have Googled, you know, something similar to all is one. So unity in all things of something of the sort you know so there's this brown kit all around this just glue old very old glue that I'm trying to get off using my pen knife here um you may be also be able to tell that there's actually an ouroboros so a sort of a black serpent going around the words there that's the mouth of the snake and its tail so my plan is to get it all off, get all the glue off and create with a piece of glass that I've got from the street somewhere else, you know, um, and some woolen thread and some more glue to create a little capsule um, over the top of the text and stick it all back together without the brown bits so that you can actually see this. And it looks very much like a magical kind of a talisman of some sort. It looks fairly semi-official, but I have no way of knowing, at, from the amount of glue that sits on here, you would tend to think that it had a piece of glass or another piece of maybe even a gemstone, possibly, sticking over the top of this piece of print here. So it looks... I'm trying to get this to zoom in as much as possible and to focus. It looks printed. This isn't handwritten. It is printed, I think. But I find this so mysterious and so witchy. Where would you find this kind of thing? How is that even possible in the Dutch countryside? So, very strange. So, that's my little bit for today. <laughs> And I will, uh, you know, show it to you when I am done, hopefully, uh, getting this into uh, a better a better kind of shape. Also, if I find any intel, maybe I can stick links in the description to this little video here, if I, uh, if I end up finding anything. I did find the inscription, but not the, the actual object as such. So, yeah. So, thank you for watching. Um, I'll be back, you know, with more um, in the week, as, it, as we may. You know, thank you. See you next time. Bye bye.